there, Sh hey there, Sharon Hornell from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. Some people actually do that, by the way, which makes me really happy because then I get a chance to actually greet you and say hi and acknowledge you and thank you for watching my videos, watching my adventure, watching my journey as I transition from the offline brick and mortar world and the corporate world of business to the online world. And as I help other businesses to add an online component to their life and their business and their brands or whatever they're working on. Working on the Women's Summit. So I want to give a little update. Today is day three of the Women's Summit. I have got the speakers all done and I just actually uploaded one more um, speaker and I'll be adding speakers to this over the next couple of weeks because I've got more people and more interviews that I just didn't get in. I had set the time frame that I was doing it in January for me and so I wanted to make sure that I got that done. Day one, Got published about 4.45, I think. Day two, which was yesterday, I don't think I published till about 10, what did I write down? 10.51 was about when it went live. The, the funnel went live. I was working on it. and um, But I got it done. I got it done on the day. Now, I actually left it open. I left day one and day two open for people since it's just a soft launch. And I want to get feedback and I want to fix and change and do things. I am just getting it done. As soon as I'm done with these three days, over the weekend, I'll be listening to all the interviews because there's pieces to it that I'm putting together. I'm putting together summaries and checklists as an item that people can get so they don't have to listen to all of them because it's hours and hours and hours of content and people might not have that kind of time. And I want to make sure that the, the highlights, now again, it's going to be my highlights, the things that I heard that really speak to me. So it's still a value even to get the checklist, listen to that read the summary, but then go ahead and listen to it yourself. You can listen while you're doing other things. You don't have to watch us talk to each other. It's just me and somebody else, me interviewing them. And so, you know, it's not like we're doing anything exciting. We're not demonstrating or showing anything. So you can listen while you do something else and then use the summary notes to say, oh yeah, I, th I think that's a key point from this too. Or, oh my God, Sharon totally missed this. This is what speaks to me because we all hear and see what we want to hear and see and what we need out of a message. Not what, so what you need out of the message might be totally different than what I need and I get out of the message. But I have got it done. I, I find it really important to meet my commitments to myself. I'm going to tell you, yesterday I had some of that mind chatter saying, there's no way you're not going to get this done because I had four interviews scheduled yesterday for the summit. Again, it seems like whenever you set a date or a deadline, Stuff happens. Life gets in the way. So you have to be flexible in terms of how and when you get things done. Now, I'm learning from this summit, which because this is my first summit, that you have to put contingencies and stop gaps in place if you have a hard deadline. This summit, I'm doing a soft launch and then I'm doing the real launch in three weeks. I'm doing that on purpose to learn the process, to figure it all out, to make sure all the pieces work, to set myself up for success, not for failure. Now, next time, the next summit, there will not be a soft launch. It'll be, boom, we'll start promoting it, and three weeks later, the summit will come out. There won't be any, okay, I've got a little cushion to sneak you into the summit because we couldn't get your interview done on time. The women that are speakers, they'll just miss out. I'll have other women lined up that, in Kate, and that's one of the lessons I've learned, add five more women or add 10% more or 20% more. Actually, it's more than... It's at, it's 20%. Yeah. Make sure you have a contingency and invite 20% more people to participate. And here's the thing. If 100% of them participate, you're just adding more value because you can put them all in there. There's no limit to the number of people that we can include in our summits. I initially wanted 30 women in the summit. And I think I've got 27 right now because three interviews we haven't gotten done yet. And... Either we'll get them done or we won't, but it doesn't matter. What I did this time was I only put seven people up on the three pages that I'm initially launching. I just picked seven and randomly put them up. Now, I think today might have more than that because, or I might go back and put some people, since I've left it open, I might go back and wherever the, the women are most appropriate, put them on that page, one, two, or three, um, to, to even it out a little bit. And I'm wanting to get to 10 on each page, but I knew that 
I didn't have everybody done. I mean, I did four interviews yesterday, so I knew I didn't have enough for 10 on each page. So instead of setting up day one with 10 speakers and then thinking, okay, I can't do that, I just made 10 spaces and then hid them in the form so that I can add people later um, as I get them. So there's no limit to how many times I can do that. I can I could have 50 people on a page if I wanted to. Oh, that's a lot of work. I don't think I want to, but you get my point. I could have as many people as I want. So I started out, okay, let's do seven, seven, and seven. That's 21 people to start for sure. And then the more I get, the more I'll add. So I'll um, do that today. Now I've got enough speakers to fill today. Plus I think I've got nine or 10 already today that can go on today. So, and then I've got more coming in over the weekend. And then over the next week, I will, I will fill all 30 spots. There's no doubt in my mind, but 30 is just an arbitrary number that I picked out of my head. I was like, Customers is a big topic. I think we can get 30 women to talk about customers. And there's a couple things that I might reach out and, and call a couple women I know because I think we could do a better job covering that topic. There's all kinds of really creative ways to, um, to deal with customers and handle customers. And I think we glossed over a couple of those. And I want to see if I can get a speaker or two to talk about those specific topics. Otherwise, I'll find another way or another training or another, uh, another way to actually get that information into the summit because I want it to be something that people listen to and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe all of the information and all the value I got out of that. Um, <clears throat> so I, I have gotten it done. Does it have problems? Yes. Um, part of why I left day one up was because in my funnel, my way of delivering the summit as it is right now, and this is part of why I wanted to test out and learn and do a soft launch is there's no way to get to day two right now in my funnel. I have to figure out a way. How do I, when it's time for day two, how do I hide day one? Because I'm telling people, hey, you can only listen to these for free for 24 hours. Here's day one. And then when I loaded day two, I'm like, all right, how do I hide day one and have it linked directly to day two? And I, I think I know how to do that. I just didn't have time when I, you know, started after dinner and a movie with the kids to get that done before my self-imposed deadline of yesterday. So I just left it and I'm like, okay, well, here's an added value. It's just going to be open two full days for people. They can, they can experience up till midnight tonight for sure. Everybody in day one and every day, everybody in day two. And secretly I might leave the whole blasted thing open all the way till Friday at midnight when I get today done or so it's being open more than 24 hours, but I'm telling people, hey, it's only going to be open 24 hours. So don't count on it ever being open more than 24 hours. And only probably this time as I'm learning, will these be available for more than 24 hours. But next time, and by the time it launches in three weeks, and I've promoted it and shared it with everybody, I will have all the glitches and all the bugs worked out. And I will know I'll probably send people to a waiting list for those three weeks. And then when it launches... Day one, 24 hours, you'll be able to watch day one. And it'll launch at a certain time that everybody knows and consistently. So maybe it will launch at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning Central Time or 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I haven't decided. I'll decide before it launches what time exactly it's going to be. And actually before I clean up the funnel after the soft launch, I'll have that in there. I'll clean up the copy. I'll clean up after I go listen to everybody's interviews again because some of these interviews I did like a couple of them right before Christmas. I'm old. I don't remember all the details back that far in order to write a good headline and to remember the highlights and the key points from each speaker's um, presentation. I mean, the ones that I did yesterday, I don't even know if I can remember those good enough to, to make it really a good representation of what they're talking about. I also... Listen to all the improvement areas I have for this. I also know that I want to get in touch with all the women that participated this in the summit and I want to get a better link for them. I've been going into their surveys and things, those that I had or finding their Facebook group and having that be the contact link. And I want them to just say, hey, here's the link so I can copy and paste it into the funnel so that everybody has the same consistent link. And Next time around, listen to me all the next times. Next time around, I'll do a better job of getting people's asset and picture that they want. Some of them just said, go to my Facebook and download a picture. Well, okay. Well, they might have six pictures and I get to pick the one that I like, but that might not be the one that they like the most and that they want to use to represent themselves. So I want people to say, this is what I want. This is the picture I want. And most of the women did provide that. Uh, I also think that on the next one, 
I might have everybody do like a picture or a selfie or a theme that goes along with the topic. This one was all about customers, so that's so diverse. A general picture works really well, and just a picture of them is the most important thing. But next time, the topic's all about, you know, how do I get to the next level? What is my next step? How do I know what to do? Um, it's about growing your business from wherever you are now to the next thing. That's the topic of the next summit. So it would be kind of fun to have a, you know, a perplexing or a question mark or a light bulb moment or something. I haven't thought of it yet. Um, if you have any ideas, post them in the comments below. But something about that that would make it uh, specific for the event not just, you know, the summit, not just the picture off everybody's website or the picture that they use for all of their promotion or from their media kit. Those are awesome and they're great for professionalism and for sharing themselves. But sometimes it's nice to have a, okay, here's here's the real me. Here's me today, not me from the 1980s. I actually still have a picture of me from the 1980s as my profile picture. In, no, I might have taken it all off now because the kids harass, my kids harass me a lot about it. They said it was terrible. Now, I will warn you, my pajama grandma picture is way worse, so they probably wish I would have kept the one up from the 80s. So today, I will, I've will i already got everything, all the assets done, so it's just a matter of plugging them into the membership area for the All Access Pass people, and then I take them from the membership area, and I take that same information and put it into the days page in the website or funnel for the launch, for the summit launch. And so I will do that much earlier today than I have the last two days because I've got everything ready and prepped and I've done it for two days. So I've worked out all the kinks and bugs and the little things that you figure out as you're doing something that have to be done in a certain order or a certain way to um, get them done more efficiently. Uh, and, and then again, I think I will reach out to a couple more women because there's a couple women that, okay, I'll be honest, I was scared to reach out to like my and I got a couple of them, which is, makes me so excited about the summit. But I was scared to reach out to certain people that I think are amazing and that I've followed for like years. And I would love to have them be a part of the summit. But I, I admit it, my first summit, I'm not proven. I haven't proven that I can do it yet. So I was a little bit scared about who I would reach out to and who I would ask to participate in it. And I was like super excited and delighted at some of the amazing women that, and all of the amazing women that have stepped up and said, I will participate in this. I know you've never done one and I'm right up there with people. I've never done this before, but I know I'll figure it out and I know that we can do it and I know that we can provide incredible information for women and women business owners. And can men learn just as much from this as we can? They might be able to learn more if they actually work with women business owners. If I was a man and I was targeting women business owners, I'd be all over this summit and I'd be listening to every single minute of it and every single speaker on it. That's just me. Again, we women, we think differently, so we would do things like that. Uh, although I am one of those people that when I'm interested in something or I want to learn something, I immerse myself in that topic. I'll buy 10 books on it and skim through them. I won't read every word because I need a magnifying glass, but I'll skim through and pick out the things that are important. I'll look for the patterns and the frameworks and the consistency and the messages that everybody's speaking. And then I'll ask myself, okay, what's missing? What are people saying on this topic? But what else do we need to know? Because... We need to know things that are missing a lot of the time. So, Women's Summit. That is my update. It, I think it's going really well. Are there things wrong with it? Yeah. Is my is my opt-in page horrible? Oh, my God. It's so awful. I cringe when I look at it. I actually cringe. Uh, is my headline right? Is my hook right? My stories? No. They're terrible. But I made a commitment to myself to get it done. And once the framework's up, it's easy to go in and tweak and change and fix the copy and you know put in better bullet points put in better headlines really go through and summarize and listen to each of the speakers and each of the interviews and say oh my god I totally missed this this is the most important and the most profound thing that Heather said this is the one key ingredient that will change everything according to Lisa oh my god Rachel told us this I, how did I not know this? I am like almost 59 years old. How did I not realize this at a conscious level? And there's, there's so many things like that throughout the summit. I am so excited to share it with all the women that I can't wait to stop talking on my videos this morning and creating my content because that's something that I do every day for me and for my businesses and jump into finishing the summit and then continuing to start listening and tweaking and fixing and saying, okay, this is the piece that's missing. I also need to put together 
my offer for the end, because I'll have to do that tomorrow, is what is my special offer for the end? And I'm not going to tell you what it is today because it is, it's uniquely me. It's something that I uniquely do and offer people, and I'm really excited about it. So I don't want to spill the beans and, and let you know today what it's going to be. But I will share it with you tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be presenting it to the Women's Summit, and then it'll it'll appear and show up on the page. But um, it's about time I offered this to other people. I'm just going to say that. It's like I've been doing it and kind of hoarding it because I tend to be an office supply hoarder. Well, I guess if you're a hoarder in one area, you might keep things to yourself and not share them with other people. It's not like I... I don't share it on purpose because I do I do tell people and share it with people all the time. I just have never done it in a a formalized way. And I think it's time that I say, oh my God, I can totally help with this. And you could do this too because it's so easy. I know you could do it if you, you know, if you just follow these steps and do it and, and add yourself to it because everything is a framework. Everything is a process. I've said that for decades, that there's a process and a way of doing everything. And as soon as we we acknowledge that process we can now see it and as soon as we see it we can start to improve it and everything about our lives and living our lives is a never-ending constant story and hopefully it's a story of improvement and making your life more of what you want it to be all right enough rambling i got to get on this woman's summit and get this done because i'm excited to get it out to the world and i will of course be with you tomorrow